Hello everyone, today we are going to cover PyTorch and build a fully connected sequential model to predict automobile prices. PyTorch is a deep learning framework built by Facebook AI Group. It's comparable to TensorFlow which I've covered in my previous uh, videos. In today's scenario, we are going to, for the price prediction using PyTorch, we are going to upload a automobile price prediction data. It is available through the UC Irvine data set. I've Put the link over here. We are going to upload this data in our AW, AWS SageMaker. As you as you know, AWS SageMaker is used to build, train, deploy models at scale. We are going to launch then a Jupyter notebook, um, and within the Jupyter notebook, we are going to go through three core steps. Number one is the data setup. We are going to analyze and clean data set using Python panda li pandas library. Then we are going to convert to categorical va variables for using pandas one hot encoding. For example, if you have list of list of values, to convert them into some sort of a numerical format. Then we are going to standardize the numerical values in, using scikit-learn preprocessing. The last step on this data setup is actually to convert our data frame to torch tensors, which are PyTorch tensors are multi-dimensional arrays. Once the data setup is complete, then we are going to go to a model train and setup. Our model will have 26 features and it will have a hidden layer with 100 neurons. We are going to use a standard mean square loss function. Then we are going to build a sequential model. And the last step is training the model. We are going to use 80% of data for training, 20% for test, and it, we will have 10,000 pa 10, passes for the data. The, la the very last is the prediction. And what I'm trying to hoping to get out is to predict a chart like this where we have a predicted values versus actual values and if the model as you know is good then these two values should should very much resemble each other so let's get going enough of theories okay so now let's import the pandas library numpy okay then i'm going to import the csv file using a read csv pandas class function. Uh, this file is the automobile file. Let's take a look at this. So this is the automobile data set. As you can see, this one has 26 different, 26 column, a uh, lot of attributes. So next step is to do some cleanup. As you can see, there are some question marks. So we are going to first replace those with NAN. So now we're going to drop the rows where we are seeing these question mark values. So for this demo, we are going to pick up four of the values from this data set for our prediction. Those are the, these are the columns we are going to pick up make, fuel type, body style and horsepower. And if I take a look at these, these are the ones that we are going to use. The one next step that we need to take is all of these values have to be converted into a numerical format as as you may know that in any kind of in any kind of a deep learning model you have to have numeric values so all of these we are going to convert into a numerical format so let's start from the horsepower column let's convert it into a numerical format and now if i take a look at the horsepower so you can see the data type has converted to float. So similarly, I'm going to go ahead and convert the remaining ones. So in terms of where we are from the overall process, we have so far covered up until this analyze and clean data set. Now we are going to convert the categorical values using one hot encoding. So let's convert the categorical values using one hot encoding. And as you can see, the values for make, fuel type, and body type, body style, they are now converted into one and zeros form using the pandas get dummies function. Think about make, fuel type, and body type as more like a lookup values that are converted for our model prediction. So if you take a look at the total columns now, we now have the four columns that we originally picked after one hot encoding. We now have overall these many columns available. Each of the unique values is kind of a converted into its own column. The next step is to import the scikit-learn preprocessing library. So from sklearn, okay. 
So these are the standard values. So now we are going to set up some model parameters. The input parameters are going to be 26. We are going to have a hidden layer with 100 neurons. And I'm going to use the mean square error loss function. Okay. And we are going to build a sequential model with three layers. Here we are. Oh, we are finally ready to write down our model training function. So this is a function. I'm not going to bore you by writing it down. Um, as I talked earlier, we are going to have a 10,000 epochs, 10,000 iterations. Every thousand, we are going to spit out the loss of the model. So here we are. So this is the model now training. Okay, wonderful. So I've gone through some additional steps just to conserve some time, but I'm using a matplotlib and then here I am using the actual values and the predicted values. And as you can see, after doing some additional steps and plotting it, the our actual values and the predictions are coming very close. So model is coming out quite good. Um, certainly there are a lot more steps that I've skipped right now in this short video. If you're interested, please ping me and I'm happy to share with you the details. Thank you very much.